Hello and welcome to um, another show and tell. My name is Peter and today we'll be talking about the Psycho Prospects SRP779K1, also known as the New Turtle. So, this is Seiko's uh, 2015 take on their iconic uh, 6309 7040, uh, the original Turtle. Now, the original Turtle started production in 1976 and was produced until 1988. Um, the original Turtle was a sort of an iconic uh, hipster watch um, and, and ran, uh, you know, for, for many, many years. And for some reason, they decided to shut them down, uh, even though they were still popular. Um, and now they've brought it back with this, uh, this new Turtle. Um, so let's have some stats on it. It has the caliber 4R36. It's an automatic winding with manual winding mechanism. Power reserve of 41 hours. It has 24 joules. Uh, day date is at the three o'clock. Um, crown at the quarter to four. We'll talk about that later. It's a 45 millimeter stainless steel case. Uh, thickness is 14 millimeters. It has a unidirectional rotatable bezel, hardlex mineral glass, Loom bright uh, on hands and uh, indicators, has a screw down crown, um, screw case back obviously, it's water resistant to 200 meters and it has a 22 millimeter uh, silicone resin band. <clears throat> All right. Okay, um, let's just do like this. I don't know how it shows up on, on video, but the new turtle is actually a, a quite a bit larger than the old turtle. Um, which brings me down to um, to things that I like about this new turtle. Now, I like that this new turtle has uh, drilled through uh, lugs, which makes it much easier to take uh, the band off. Um, it's It has a very soft and very comfortable uh, you know, a, a resin um, strap band. Um, I also like the fact that it has, uh, you know, an increased case size. Um, it doesn't feel too large, uh, you know, it feels just right, it has a nice weight, so I like that too about it. I like the fact that they've also managed, you know, this has a, a one-directional bezel, unidirectional bezel, which all, all modern uh, dive watches have for safety, so that you don't knock your arm against uh, some, uh, some um, coral or, you know, and, and automatically uh, lose time without you knowing it. Whereas the old one, uh, they weren't that concerned about diver safety back in those days, apparently, but it can go both ways. Um, so that's uh, that's a pro for this new watch. Um, I like the fact you can manually wind it now. Uh, you know, that's also good. Apart from that, I can't really say a lot about this watch. You know, it it it, it seems. I mean, it, it it feels extremely well built. Obviously, it's a Seiko, so so that's not going to shock anybody. Um, but it, you know, the, the funny thing about this is, if I have to be totally honest, um, I feel this would be, you know, I've heard this described as uh, Seiko's reissue of the old turtle, but I would probably call this more of a homage to the old turtle because in fact, it has a new case size. It has a new movement, new hands, larger bezel size. Uh, the old bezel was 40 millimeters, 42 millimeters. So, and in fact, this is a totally new watch. Not even, uh, I don't mean, in, in, you know, just because it's m made new, but also in dimensions and everything else. You know, I suspect that if this was some no-name brand, Seiko wouldn't be able to uh, give them a lawsuit against them because it's not close enough for this to, uh, to win a lawsuit. Um, so I, I wouldn't say that this is, this is the old turtle reissued. I would say this is probably a homage. And... Um, you know, to it, um, because everything has actually changed a bit. And uh, now that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, this watch, uh, it is, a, it is a, as I mentioned before, it is in the Prospects series. And, uh, you know, everything is, is, is very well made about it. Uh, it it's beautiful and, um, and definitely, definitely worthy of, of, you know, of being the Turtles, um, what do you call it in English? Um, torchbearer um, for, for lack of a better word sorry about that so it's, it's worthy of that most definitely um, 
I just I just find it surprising that so much has changed. Um, when I when I sus- before I got my hands on it, I thought this was going to be you know very close to the original, uh, but it's not. Uh, even even though the, the case uh, is larger, it's not exactly the same um, case either. They're, so they just they haven't they've changed it slightly, um, and you know again that's not a bad thing. I'm not I'm not disliking this watch for it. I'm just mentioning my thoughts as to whether or not this is actually a re um, reissue or it's uh, or it's more of a homage to it. But these are just my my rantings. Um, but all in all, um, it's a very impressive watch. It it uh, it, uh, it it uh, it sits very well on the uh, rest. I see you put, put a, a wrist shot on. Yeah. And again, I was surprised at how soft the uh, the, the resin band is. It's very very comfortable. Um, there you have it. Yeah, good looking watch. Oops. Um, this is obviously the, uh, the the Pepsi version of it. It comes in other versions too. I've managed to put that on a bit tight. There you go. Um, but, but very impressed. I am very impressed with it. Um, I was just, uh, I picked this up from a good friend of mine who has uh, lent it to me. Um, um, I was just a bit surprised at, at how much it actually di- differed from the original one. Um, but still, it, it, you know, on, on the offhand it does look like it, but everything's changed, so I was a bit surprised. But um, but one can say I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, you know, it's um, it's definitely worthy of uh, of being the torchbearer for the old one and also being a member of uh, the Prospect series. Um, but otherwise, I don't have a lot more to say about this watch. Um, it's a beautiful watch, and uh, you know, see here it has the the Prospect uh, mark there and uh, the tsunami in the middle. That's all all true true Seiko dive watches have. Um, yeah. Anyway, with those words, um, I would like to say thanks for watching. Uh, again, if you like my show and tells, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and I hope that you will um, catch you again in my next show and tell. And with uh, with that, thanks a lot. Bye bye.